All right, guys, we're back again with another video today. It's a short video, I'm kind of sick right now, but I wanted to really make this video for you guys. PPSK, private pre-shared keys. This is gonna be awesome for Wi-Fi. And why you might want this is because actually sometimes it benefits the access point itself, not having to broadcast so many SSIDs. You can actually improve performance sometime, not saying all the time, but you can. So you can have a, you know, your access point only having to broadcast one instead of multiple SSIDs, and you can use different passwords to send what network you should go to. So before we get started, let's watch that intro. All right, guys, so I'm using network update 7.5.187. So that's the one I'm on. So if you guys need to know, that's what I'm using. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to create a new network or you can edit one that's already been made. I'm not going to edit these ones right here because they're already working, but we're going to create another network. We're going to call it test. And then we're going to go to manual. You're going to want to set this to manual down here and you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and you're gonna use pre-shared keys. So how, see how I did that? Default here, this is how you would usually select your network. As soon as I click this, if you watch, this default is gonna go away. It's gone, it's gone now, cause we're gonna select it now. So we're gonna say default, we'll have password love, uh, you, and then capital Q. There it is, perfect. And then the next one we'll have, let's see, what was that? It was IoT actually, we'll do default. This time uh, we'll do Dragon 87. Add, and then you would hit save, and then they're there. And now let's go back, this is how you can go back and you edit them, take it off, bring it back on, all of them are there, you can add more. But now, if anybody connects to, uh, to test, the name is the test. Remember, test is the name up here. If anybody uh, connects to test and uses Love you Q, they're automatically gonna go to the IoT network. Down here, if they use to connect to test and they use Dragon87, they're gonna go to the default network. So you can have one SSID broadcasting, and you know this might even be easier for you too if you have, um, IOT devices you're adding on to might make it quicker instead of having to go and type in or search a new name. I mean, this can benefit you in a lot of ways. I mean, it's not like you have to have it. I mean, I'm not gonna use it, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I like the way mine is set up now, but some people might want one SSID or they don't care about having separate or they want a secret. They don't want people to know. Like my IOT network, it's IOT, but I don't broadcast it. So you can't even search for it unless you know the name of it. So it just depends on uh, what you want to do or anything. So yeah, I hope you guys like these videos. If you guys do like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any videos. As I'm again, I'm not feeling good today. I'm actually on some medicine right now. So I'm a little kind of stuffed up and stuff like that. But I wanted to make this video for you. And the most important thing I say always is I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next video.